And welcome everyone to the Predator Women's World 10 Ball Championships right here in Klagenfurt, Austria, home of Jasmine Ocean, who is lagging the balls versus Silvania, Silviana Lu. This is George Teche in the booth in this tournament here with Ben Belhazen, uh, Hi, French, everyone. I believe. Yeah, French, French. yeah. Okay. From France, yeah. So we've had all types of commentators, and now we have a French one. <laughs> This is a $150,000 prize fund, $50,000 for the champion, 48 players invitational. This is the winner's round first. This is Jasmine's first match. Silviana uh, defeated Monica Zabek uh, to get to meet Jasmine here. Uh, the Jasmine here is, her home is here in um, Klagenfurt. And Ben, how do you see this match? I see two determinated players because uh, I had the chance to commentate the first match of Silviana uh -huh. our, our first round and she's really a good player she's focused and she's very professional and we all know Yasmin as the one of the top women players in the world for like 10 or 15 years we all know her so she's in a, she's in her hometown and uh, she will be really determined to, to win this one, so. I totally agree, and uh, Jasmine actually was third here last year uh, in August for the, for the very opening of this tournament. Uh, it was the first time they'd held it in about 10 years. Yeah. And uh, so here she is again with the hometown crowd. You should have seen the hometown crowd in that, in that yeah. semifinal. That will be an advantage for big. sure. A so good break here, but nothing down. Yeah, I the think the going to sneak yeah. in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It snuck in. I'm glad for replays. Yeah. Long shot on the one. And uh, we have to keep in mind of the shot clock here because it's a big thing to play under 30 seconds. Shot clock is really a different game because you have to take decisions quick. And it had a little more pressure on the players. So we start by a safety shot here, which is really nicely executed. Good control of the cue ball. Stay behind the seven. Yeah, Silviana had it was third place in the Alpha Las Vegas Open this past March. She's also played in the Jay Swanson, which is in California, and uh, actually it's now in Vegas. It used to be in San Diego, uh, but now in Las Vegas. She is a uh, 720 Fargo as c uh, compared to the 745 that Jasmine plays. And uh, in Fargo rate, Jasmine is rated number seven out of the top 100 women in the world. And Silviana is number 15. So definitely two top players, and it's a tough first round for Yasmin. And when you're seated, they give you that easy expected, or uh, uh, when you expect to win the first one, they just give it to you. And you're playing the second round against a tough player. Yeah, so that's actually, it's... First rounds are re always really tough for players because you have to get in stroke, you have to feel the tables and the atmosphere of the tournament. So <coughs> it's always challenging for the players. Let me ask you a question, Ben. Do you feel that maybe when you're seated and you come into this match fresh like Jasmine has, that maybe Silviana might have a bit of an advantage having already played a match, getting used to the equipment and tournament play? Yeah, I think so, especially when you have a player which is a top player because Siliana is also a top player. She's over 700 Fargo rating. So, I yeah, I think she might be a kind of an advantage, but Yasmin is in, is in her own town. And so she's also in top form. Yeah. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a great match here. Silviana, who is at the table now, is sponsored by Mez and How Tips. As you can see, the patches on her shirt. She comes to the U.S. frequently. She is also, I believe, uh, Aloysius Yap's girlfriend. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm, I can tell a few things. Uh, yeah. I had a nice talk with her in Michigan when she played. I think it was last month. There was She was in, the, in, in Michigan uh, for a big tournament there for the Predator Pro Billiard Series. That's nice a great shot cards. there, yeah. She killed the cue ball nicely. Oh, she's on her way to win the first rack. The seven ball is almost a hanger, and then nine is 
connected to the tent, so just stay focused and concentrate. Going two rails here, maybe center of the table. Good shot here. The reigning champion for this tournament is Che Yu Chao, and the runner up was Tu, tu Chen Wei. Mm -hmm. Wei Wei. They were in the finals here last year. What a tournament that was. And a good start again. Actually, on the first round, she had a really good start with a break and run. Solid. She has a strong technique, so she can rely on it. And the first game does go to Silviana Lu. Uh, did she start breaking? Yeah, and pl she played safe, a good safety shot on the one ball, forcing Yasmin to jump and then run out. So that's a strong start. So she maintained control of the table at all time. Yeah. To get down the first game. And now it's going to be Yasmin to break because this is alternate break. This is a race to seven. Prior champions for this 10 ball world championship in 2009 was Rubelin Amit. Jasmine won it in 2010. And then uh, Kelly Fisher in 2011, Guy Young Kim in 2012, and Rubelin Amit again in 2013. And last year, of course, it was won by Che Yu Chow. Jasmine to break. Oh, she she broke off the one and then scratched directly on the side. That's a tough way to start your uh, your first break. Usually it's an advantage to be breaking. Yeah. But when you hit him on top like that with that English and it carries right towards that pocket, it's hard to stay out of the pocket. Just yeah. a little bit of a miss hit. Like yeah, actually she hit it. The hit, the impact was good, but it was not square. So the cue ball went directly into the side pocket, which gives the ball in hand. To Silviana. Now these are WPA rules. Uh, early tens are not allowed. The ten ball must be the last ball pocketed. There is a three foul rule and a 30 second shot clock as you mentioned. But after the break they have 60 seconds in order to plan and plan their plan of attack, what kind of game they want to play, is it defense, if it's not they're not broken up nice, uh, they can take that 60 seconds to really uh, put it to use. And they have an extension per rack. And they have extension per rack. Okay, we can see that the three ball passes the six. So she just has to stop the cue ball there. Maybe go a little bit further to get the right angle on the purple four to go to the five. Yeah, good shot there. I like the way she delivers the cue stick right through the cue ball. Yeah. Nice and smooth. Yeah, she has uh, pretty solid technique. She's a little bit flat on the four though, but she'll be okay. She really needs to be straight in on, this on the five ball to get to the six. Like that. Yeah, she's perfect there. Oh, nice that it laid on the rail, because if it was off just a little more, she'd be too straight. She might not be able to get off the rail too much. Yeah, that's true. She's just going to want to dead stop it. Yeah, she'll Stop be okay. it on impact. Yeah. Good shot. She's stroking the ball well. Confident and comfortable. Yeah, that's it. And committed to each shot for the moment. So, yeah, she asked for the extension because it's it's a little tricky position because she had to elevate a little bit, try to force a little bit the six to get to the seven. To 
stay in position, stay down on those type of shots. Yeah, she did it perfect. Oh. Nice position. Does she have enough angle to come down and come back up, or can she just handle this with a little bit of yeah, draw? Yeah, from there it's tough to say, but it yeah, looks like she's a little flat again. So maybe she'll force to draw this to the long rail. Don't know. Or, she or can do stun either. it, yeah. Yeah. She could stun it two rails also. Yeah, that's, okay. that's what I thought she was doing. If she had an angle, that's where I thought she would go. Yeah, that's a good shot. And she's got just enough angle to go to the rail and uh, actually she just draws straight up. Yeah, I think. I think she will. She won't take a chance of trying to cross the 10 ball. Okay, she's in control. Only one mistake. You like forward or reverse here? Here or... It's really personal preference. On new cloth, I prefer to go like she does. Simple, like this, you know, because you catch the line of the tent, it's easier. It's really personal preference. And this is for game number two in this race to seven. In the stage two, it'll be a race to nine when you get to the final Single uh, elimination. 16, single yeah. elimination. But right now, they have. They don't have to go home if they lose one one set. Yeah. They can come back and still get their way, make their way to the final 16. Yeah, all the tournaments now are like this: double elimination. It's a nice stage, yeah. and it just makes it uh, go so fast at the end. As you see, it's already 2-0, and Yasmin just. Scratched on the break, that's it. She said the one shot. The first was the first rack a break and run? No, she played uh, a yeah, safe on the one. She played a safe on the but one. It's a really good solid safety that forced Jasmine to, to jump. So first rack she was in complete control. The second rack, Jasmine led her back to the table and paid the price of another game. Yeah, absolutely. See, she's breaking from the s side or from the middle? Yeah, from the side, yeah. From the left side. Try to make the one ball on the side pocket. Now we'll see if all the balls end up on the left side, or the majority of them. No, they don't. They sprayed out pretty good, which means her speed was just right. Yeah. But sometimes when you hit them too hard, all the balls will come back to the left side. Yeah, you're right. And also the impact was good. But then she didn't make a ball. She failed to make a ball. That's yeah, part well of the game. And that's yeah. part of also of the unpredictability of the of the rack. The, the hand triangle, rack? Yeah, yeah. The, of the hand rack, yeah. So now Yasmin has an open shot on the one, which is pretty thin. And she has to hold the cue ball for the two on the side. Because the three is really in a tricky position here, just below the side pocket. She'd like to get straight in on this two ball or play it to the corner. She's going to come down and get straight in for it. Oh, a little bit of an angle. Yeah. Well, if it's too much of an angle to hold, she might choose to play it off the three. Or is it too if far out of the yeah, pocket? Yeah, I, I think it's too far from the okay. pocket to play that. But okay. the thing is, I think the three ball passed the five nine. Oh. So maybe she'll have to play on the, on the top right corner pocket. Yeah, I think it passes, but then the four ball is on the short rail, so. Now see, even if there's room like this, <laughs> that always makes some players nervous. Yeah. And plus she, ha she has to roll it because she doesn't want to get too much angle on the four or to go well, well, she wants across to get the table. Past the five for the four so she can come back for the five. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, it's just uh, for some reason, it seems like that ball has gravity and it just draws the ball to it. It, it doesn't just go by so easily. Yeah, and watch. Uh, See how yeah, the, uh, and that that happens so much. Now she had room to do it, and usually, if you hit that ball good without that ball there, 
it goes right down the rail. But when there's a ball there, uh, it's kind of a visual uh, trap. Exactly, it's a visual trap. That's actually a very good way to put it. But she looks a little bit nervous also. And I think that's because it's her first match to enter the tournament. So to answer your question a little bit, yeah, I think she... Silviana has, has yeah. a little bit of an advantage maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And she might feel the pressure to, to be in her own town also. She's yes. hosting the tournament. I mean, this is something big with her. Oh. Klagenfurt and... That was a pretty confident shot for the space that she had there. She went ahead and yeah. cut it in. She had enough room, and the referee was there to watch it. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think more than anything, as far as the pressure goes, by her scratching in the side and getting down two games, that put more pressure on her. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, the shot was legal, and now everything wide in the open. So make sure to make the 5-1 rail. Uh, two rails, sorry, excuse me. Back to the center of the table. Nicely struck here. She has a good start and she let it go a little bit, so... It's always good for a player to let the stroke out. Just a stun shot here? Yeah. So, yeah, because you don't really want to roll it down soft. Yeah. Uh, you can lose, you can uh, just lose it. This is also a personal preference, but I prefer to stun it a little bit to give a little more speed. To the Exactly, a little more power through your stroke. Yeah. This keeps us straighter. She actually was kind of like in the middle there. Yeah, yeah. With a very I nice, like soft the way and she straight played stroke. It yes. Because, yeah, she, she made the choice to roll it, but a little bit firm. Mm -hmm. And that could be a good choice also. Now she wants to be on the long rail on the eight to go three rails and reach the nine just like that this is uh, probably aimed at the center diamond there on the left side on yeah. the long rail this is kind of typical shots in rotation game typical run outs position nice to all these players now have their little extensions they can reach yeah. shots like this yeah because once he gets past the side pocket she hit that hard enough yes she did yeah I like I like to hit it a lower little lower and going short rail, long rail, and then higher, maybe near the head string. Mm -hmm. And have that ball come towards the object ball a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Not too close. Yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll be fine, but yeah. you never like to be frozen on the rail or near the rail to to stroke the ball. So, Silviana is off to a great start. Yeah. Has this 10 ball to make it 3-0 against Jasmine Ocean in a race to A7, excuse me. She's asking for an extension, try to relax, breathe, watching the shot clock and reset to make the shot. Focus in the present moment. Nicely done, and she does achieve her 3-0 lead. Which is tough to overcome. Al alternate break. Yeah, an alternate break. Uh, this yeah. will have uh, Jasmine coming to the table to break the balls here in game number four. Other uh, matches going on right now is Che Yu Chao, the reigning champion. 2-0 over Rubelin Amit, who has won it twice in the past 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Filipinos are uh, really Pia strong Pia Filler players. is up 2-0 uh, over Ka Kai Wan. And Wang Wan Ling is up over Tina Volgeman 2-0. Semi Chen over Ailu Aili Kibaroglu 3-1. Oh, from Turkey. Tur from yeah. Turkey, the Turkey, Turkish player. And then Emily Duddy is up over uh, Bean Hung, 1-0. Sea Roca over Vanya Franco, 1-0. Seo Seo over Ina Klap Kaplan, 3-0. Jasmine to break from the side again. But it changed si she changed side, so we'll see if she had better results from this side. Yeah, she didn't like her results last time. She scratched in the right-hand side pocket. Wow, and she's lost powerful. the cue ball down. Yeah. And ball down, no open shot. 
what a power she put in it. She's really powerful. She's an athlete. I mean, she's really fit. She has so much power. Now, see, Jasmine will take advantage of her 60 seconds. Yeah. After the break. Yeah, because there's no reason not to. No reason to hurry up and shoot the one, even if you have a straight in shot. Yeah. Figure out your rack and then come to it. Right. And she might have to roll out here, but it's not easy because the the one ball is in is in a tricky position, and it's never easy to find a good push out because you have to compromise. Maybe she tried to make the layout a little tougher. Now, right here, do you like coming around the right side of the table, down by the wall of balls on the left, down yeah. towards the eight? Yeah, actually, yeah, she could cut the one and then going towards the nine. I mean, one, two, three rears. Center right or spin. Or she could yes, bank the one towards the ten also, towards the five ten, towards this zone. Well, that's a different type of way to play safe. Yeah. I think Jasmine will uh, try to find some cover here. Yeah, because she now she has she took advantage of the table and she might be able to play a good safety shot here. Oh, she's going for the shot. No, uh, I don't think so. Oh, even if, even if the three the ball shot. is a hanger. This is a really thin cut shot. Depends on how she feels. Well, but it's really thin. I would rather bank the the one ball and try to to put the cue ball where it is now. Or you can cut it. Yeah, I like this shot also. That's a good shot. Just don't hit the seven. Well, she's gonna be okay. Yeah, because the the four ball is far from the cue ball, so she might not be able to jump it, and that's a good point. And and the other the other reason not that she can't jump it or she won't jump it is the cue ball is kind of out in the middle of the table. Yeah. And she uh, she won't be able to reach the jump. Well, she should be able to reach that jump there. Yeah, she would reach it just fine. Thing is, you should try to go one rail and clip the one. Yeah, she hit it too far. I was I was gonna say. She didn't call that. She should have called that. Oh, she did call that. Wow. That was uh, I was going to mention that she shot it too fast for me, but I was going to mention that a shot like this she should call in case it goes in because she's going to be kicking in that direction and the three balls there, and now it's really paid off. A lot of players will kick that ball and not make the call. Yeah, yeah. They don't get punished for, for, um, for, for calling the ball. Uh, Oh, that's okay. She's almost straight in on the four, which allows her maybe to to draw back for the five. Yeah, she called the extension because it's tricky. She has to elevate and draw back towards the uh, in the zone where the eight ball is. So she has to make sure she doesn't draw too much. Oh, she's going follow. Okay, one rail and back where she is. Yeah, that was not a gimme. You're right, not with the right hand English she had to put on it. Yeah, that was a tough shot. And now Yasmin is left with a long shot on the four ball. Well, more importantly, she comes to the table. Yeah. She might be happy with that. But still, it's a tough shot because you have to keep cue, cue ball control here. Oh, don't twist the 10. She's going to be in trouble anyway. It's going to yeah, go far she enough. She decides to make the ball whatever it takes. And that could be an option. Do you kind of like playing that 7 ball? Oh, if you, you want, if you want to be offensive, yeah, just draw into it because yeah, the eight ball makes the pocket bigger. Yeah, but you'll lose the five. Mm, I'd rather play safe here, but yeah, I like that. It's a, it's a standard safety, but 
she hit a little bit too hard but it's it's a good containing I mean no I agree I was just trying to find out how aggressive you were yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but the thing is she's down three zero and you know alternate break is tough to overcome so that's why you have to steal a couple games here and there yeah oh she but, but she, she's going for the shot she she called the five ball I'd rather play a containing, try to align all the three balls on the head string using the six as a blocker. Well, look what she's going to get here behind the nine. Yeah. Oh, almost he got behind the six, though. Wow. Jasmine's having a touch, a tough way of it. Yeah. One Maybe. rail kick off the left side rail. And this is the situation where the, the shot clock is in play because if you have the time to to see and to calculate the kick then you're most likely at least not giving ball in hand on this type of shot but then when you are in a hurry uh, you six. see when you don't have time to to prepare and to visualize the shot this is a lot tougher but that's part of the challenging part of the, the shot clock I mean makes the game more challenging and interesting. Sometimes the shot clock can help some players and sometimes it hurts them. True. Sometimes it just forces them to pull the trigger and Absolutely. they just and, and they, they they come forward and it works well for them. To get in action. Yes. Not to think too much. Well you know what they say, you think long, you think wrong. Yeah. That's really true. Careful. Oh. Careful. Oh, she just barely got there, I think. Yeah. Looks. Almost went past it. This will be what you might call a commanding lead. Four games to yeah. zero. But it's not impossible to overcome. I've seen it done many, many times. Yeah. You know, if she got a four-game lead, you can get the four games back. True. Sure. I like the way she played that. Was able to let her stroke out a little bit and kind of just, instead of just trying to stun it up a little yeah. to get an angle True. or settle That's for a tough cut. No reason not to play it that way. Okay, Jasmine is in trouble. But well, not only is she down four games, but we'll go for a break and be right back.
And it looks like Jasmine is back to the table. We're still waiting on Silviana. Yeah, because when we went to a break, they took one too. I'll try to reset a little bit because she knows she's in trouble. Forget about the past. A couple of scores. Allison Fisher up over Denise Wilkinson, 4-0. Christina Tikach over Melanie Susanguth, 4-0. Silviana to break the balls, leading 4-0. to zero. A good showing by a couple of the Chinese players here. Han Yu and Simi Chan are here. Yeah. Tough, tough, tough players. We just commented uh, Han Yu's game. and Yeah, yeah, the field very is tough. pretty strong. Nice, tr great field. From the side, one ball straight to the side pocket. Shot on the two. Yeah, she used a little bit of an English to open up the one. You see? That's a good point here. Long shot on the two, but I have to figure out how to get on the four here because there's a little bit of a cluster here. The four, seven, nine, ten are blocked. So yeah, this is a tough layout. Well, it's a tough beginning shot, and then getting to the four is is the real key to the track. Yeah. Oh, that five ball helped. Yeah. Actually, she didn't expect to double kiss the five to get shape on the three, no. but that worked. I don't know if the four ball does pass in the corner pocket, but anyway, she. She'll have to go then near the center of the table. I think she'll try to come into it. Or she's going to go for the safety. She's yeah. going to roll it down and put the put the cue ball on the 10 if she can. She hit the two ball really good. Oh, she doesn't have the angle to do that. She can play off the 7 and just stop the cue ball. Yeah. I don't know if she has the angle to just roll it to the rail and stay behind the seven. It's tough to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's a good shot. Maybe Yasmin could go kicking two rails and try to make the combination on the four eight. Looks like it's it's on, but again you only have thirty seconds, so <laughs> This is not easy. I'm interested to see if she's going to go two rails at it or just go straight at it. It's Depends. a bigger ball, two rails. Yeah. All the way. Yeah, she hit it perfect. Oh, watch this. <laughs> Did you catch her eyes there? Yeah. She kind of just looked away she as soon as the ball came up and covered her up. She might not be happy here, but... Well, she can go right to the ball. I think she can hit it just past the six. Yeah, maybe. If she can hit right at the ball, she can hit it with a little speed, a little draw, and bring the cue ball across behind the 710. Yeah. Yeah, because she can't jump yeah. and lose the cue ball. And she's going to hit so thin that she might she might just press that pass. Yeah, there she goes. Nice shot. shot. That's, shot here. No, go, that's mm. very even there. She's given up the right side of the two ball, but it has to be very thin. Yeah. Now she has to use the bridge, and I don't know if she can see the four ball fully, but she'll, she'll cut this and go up table for a safety. Yeah, oh, not enough. Uh, I uh, sorry, too much. She would have liked to use the 9 and 10 as blockers, but she didn't. And maybe Yasmin has the stop shot here. 
but she will send the four ball towards the six so she really want to to kill the cue ball there I think or she can thin it and go up table yeah like this a lot of distance yeah she hit it to a little bit too thick she's she's not happy with that she's gonna yeah. find herself resafed I see her look at uh, looking at the angle so maybe she's gonna go for the shot going four rails to the five well two things good can happen there you have the five and the six close to the rail which may provide cover if she misses that was a good attempt actually. now watch this cue ball behind the five. Oh, it's not gonna get there but there's a 10 9 yeah yeah I thought that was gonna roll up right behind the five and just really lock her up actually there was a kind of two-way shot because yes if she made if she had made it then she would have got shape on the five so it was a kind of a free shot that way that's why Yasmin wasn't happy with the shot again kick at it maybe two rails clip it try to make it on the corner yeah this is a good go kick shot table. yeah good oh. kick shot oh she hit it full in the face which gave her a good result created some distance laid both balls in the middle of each ra uh, short rail that was a good answer I'm not sure she can hit the right side of the four ball yeah, she's coming like this, so yeah, this is not easy. She tried to cut it, maybe. Yeah, that's not easy. Oh, that's not a good result there. Yeah. The only thing good about that shot is that she left her straight in. Yeah, almost. Well, Kelly Fisher and Brittany Bryant are locked in the battle. Two to one, Kelly leads. So now she has to decide whether she's going to draw this shot and cut the five. Yeah. She's a little bit nervous. So she doesn't let the stroke out. So now she's gonna play safe. I don't think the six would go in the side pocket, so. Yeah, that's a good shot. Good shot here. Nice cue ball, good speed. Good speed. Taking full advantage of the 10 9. Yeah. Okay, she's going all in for the shot. I mean, the 10 and 9 are pretty locked up, so. Well, with the landing right correctly on the 9 ball, uh, I think it, it'll go to the le uh, bottom corner pocket there. Look at this. Is she going to get a shot? Yes, looks like she did get one. Now she has to figure how to go from the 7 to the 9 because I think yeah the, the 9 is passing on the the top left corner pocket oh that's an unexpected miss yeah Jasmine just walks off and a little bit of a disgust there yeah she's trying to get into that match but as we mentioned, is a, a first round, and it's never easy to get into it, especially when you're down 5-0, and things are not going your way. Is she gonna get up against the six here? I think so. No, did, yeah, she's, no, she did not get there. I thought she'd get around it pretty easily, but yeah, um, not quite. That was a smart thinking because she didn't go for the cut because she's leading 4-0 and it's not time for her to take any risks. But she misjudged the cue ball and leaving a cut shot for Yasmin. 
which is not easy. Stay down on the shot. I think she has to take this cut shot. Uh oh, cue ball. Yeah. Jasmine is not enjoying this match. Yeah. Might be tough mentally for her. One of the good things about, if you can find anything good about this match for Jasmine so far, is you're down 4 0, possibly 5 after this rack. What do you have to lose now? Yeah. So it's like, okay, it's just time to go. Yeah, no matter what time the to do it, says. Just exactly. It's time to, you know, you have to, when you're behind, you have to play like a lion. Try to enjoy it and try to take your marks. Try to get used to the tables because there is another round coming, you know. Just be in the present and try to do your best. But it's easier said than done. Yes. Because she wants to, she wants to perform in her hometown in front of family and friends, and some sometimes when you want something so bad, then you can let you can let go, you know. Hard to let go. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Oh, she's got. Oh, she might not have the angle she wanted. Uh, I'd like to be a little lower on this, so yeah. it, it, it's a clear, clear shot. You make sure you don't even come close to the 10. Yeah, I think she's okay. Oh, she's okay. Yeah. I, uh, it goes. Just a little draw. Her, ooh, but see, making sure that the hit was good. Yeah. And if it's lower, you don't have to. It's, it's, you just shoot the shot. And she hit the, the the high side of the pocket. Yeah. Mm. So she actually cut it too much. Too much, yeah. yeah. Long rail, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yasmin. Tough shot for you now, but stay down and make this one. Yeah, this is a tester. Yeah. Big tester. Oh. Ouch. Under normal circumstances, when the score would be the same, she would be, she would make that shot at a much higher percentage than yeah. in this situation. She hasn't had much For time sure. to the table, hasn't been pocketing balls. But she still has to find a way. She may be down five games if, this is a tester for Silviana too. Yeah, that it's gonna go, two also. rails. It's not going to make it. No speed. Now, this is a big break for Jasmine. Yeah, she has a chance to, to score. Yeah. And she'll be breaking the next track, I guess. So. Uh, yes, she will. See, this, these are the kind of shots Jasmine wants right now. Just make a few shots and yeah. it'll all come back together. And there's game number one for Jasmine Ocean. Down one to four. The hometown favorite will be breaking. She tried to stay composed and... And right now she's, I would think she's thinking to herself, here we go. Yeah. Now's the time. My turn. <laughs> She I mean has a strong mind, so. Yeah, she's an athlete. Yes. She's, she has a lot of experience. Carry emotions and uh, try to handle the, the pressure. We have a lot of pool going on here in Klagenfurt this, this week. We have the World 8-Ball Championship, WPA sanctioned, men's. Eight ball championship, 96 invited players. We also have a juniors world championship with three divisions, uh, under 19, under 17, and then a girls division. 24 players in each division. So we have 72 juniors wandering around the sports arena here starting tomorrow. They're going to have their opening ceremonies this evening. And a dry bake by Jasmine Ocean. 
that kind of takes you out of the mood after what she was just gifted with. Yeah, she just broke off a little bit, and uh, actually the impact is good, but she's going too much with her body in the shot, and so she loses the cue ball control, the, the accuracy on the on the one ball, so... Nice shot there. Yeah. It's never well. easy to roll the ball when you have a long shot and you have to keep the cue ball control. You know, the way these balls lie with the four ball close to the 9-6, if she gets position for that left-hand side pocket, she can open them up. Yeah, and stay on the and five. And stay on the five, have the five for an insurance ball. She's got to hit it with just a little pace so she doesn't get hooked behind the nine, but it lays yeah. nice. Yeah, if it has the right angle, you kind of want to go directly into the nine to be sure to see the five, you know. I think she has it. Uh, it's it's hard to say from here, but if I could, I would I would go directly into the nine and not behind the nine because y you might send the nine towards the five. Mm-hmm depending on the angle she has. Yeah. He's going to be stuck behind it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. A little about more speed. Yeah. You had that's why just you want to come into it a little bit. A little more speed there. She has it, I think, but from How do you the get rail, to the yeah, yeah, how do you get to the fa 6? Yeah, she's, she's in trouble there. Because then, a few solutions here. Maybe you can just make the five and then play safe on the six. I don't know the angle she has here. She's going to try to follow two rails, but it's a hell of a stroke. Wow. Oh, that she's going to get there. Yeah. She's going to get there nice. Stroke. That's a good one. Yeah, she got out of trouble here. Nicely. Okay. Now she has to draw back in between the long rail and the nine. Get position in the eight. But she has a long way to go t to get the right angle on the 8. She has to be pretty thick on the 8. So if it's possible, go all the way up table. Oops. Oh, she caught the 9. Well, she'll go for this cut. Yeah, this is not easy. Yeah, that was not easy. But uh, she's going to want to hit this with some speed to go up and down. Yeah. So you got to get back up for the nine in the side. You have to set the priority. The priority is to make the eight, but... It's easier to make it with speed. Yeah. Nice. Good shot here. This is really perfect. I mean, she couldn't have it this any better. Nice. Yeah, she got perfect position on the eight. The the cut on the eight was crucial in this rack. And a five to one lead by Silviana Lu. Yeah, she's extended it, and actually she she played a lot, a couple of good shots, especially the two rails from the five to the six, was a really tough shot, frozen to the rail.
good technique, good stay down on this. Our EPBF referee racking the balls with the predator rack on this predator table, nine foot. Yeah, those are the, the referees of the of the Euro Tours and the European Championships. Yes, and uh, on the Arcadia Reserve cloth using the Arcos two balls and racking them all with the arrow rack. What do we have up there? We had some a lot of spectators this afternoon. It's getting uh, it's 251 here in Austria and people are getting off work and coming to watch some great pool yeah, at the Sports Park Arena. They're oh. expecting Yasmin to put on a show. Yeah. And she has to come to the table to do that. She can't do it from her chair. Yeah. Hopefully she will let a stroke out. Yeah, she's running out of time. It's a race to seven. I don't know if she can see the two ball to cut it to cut it in. Which would be great for her make it and then she will have uh, a cut on the three ball in the side pocket yeah great shot here oh she's in a hurry she's making him two at yeah. a time yeah and actually this is a good roll because it helps her to to be on the right side of the of the three that was a great cut there Yeah, she has to make sure she catches the line of the four sh so that she can draw back directly for the six. This is perfect. Again, the center of the table is is really crucial in rotation games. You really want to be there. Yeah, from the center of the table, you can cover almost 70% of the shots. Yeah, and this is... I mean, this is really huge. Mm. Yeah, she might not be happy with this. She has too much angle on the seven, but still okay. Would you consider playing short rail shape here on the eight for the left-hand corner pocket? Mm. Or do you want to hit it harder and come out of that upper corner? Yeah, I think... I think... Oh, she's just going to take the longer shot. Yeah. Yeah, that was not easy because she has she really has a lot of angle on that seven ball, and I think she, I think she played the right shot here. Maybe she could have played even softer, not to be like queuing above the ten ball, you know. Yeah. Now she chose to stun it. Yeah. Uh oh. And. I was going to say that when you choose that tip position on the cue ball, then the throw is coming into play, and then you m you have a chance to hit it thick, really. Which she did. Yeah, may maybe a little a little left would have done the job, you know. Well, another gift for Jasmine. Yeah. And these are the kind of gifts she needs, especially at this time, and she did not. Go to six. This yeah. will give it Jasmine a chance to close a little bit of the gap, and she will be breaking next. And when you have simple shots like this, it's really important to make them like perfect, you know, to try to get some kind of a confidence growing. A few applause for her as she's playing in her hometown to to give her confidence and support. The fans want to prolong the match. Yeah. I mean, Yasmin also wants to prolong the match and she she really tries her heart out, I, I'm sure. She is a worker. Grind it, grind it, as they say in pool. Mm -hmm.
Second prize money here is $25,000. Third and fourth, of course, is twelve five. So if you finish in the top four, that's more than a $10,000 payday. Sixty two fifty for fifth through eighth. And just to make the final 16 is $3,125. That might pay some of your expenses. Yeah. That was a powerful break. What do we have? Three, six, ten. Uh, open no rack. Balls. Jasmine just can't seem to get anything going. She's trying. No open shot from Silviana, though. She's she going to play the... I was wondering if she would take the carom. Yeah, she called the three ball. She'll leave herself a tough shot on this one. Yeah, Unless she hits she it with a little speed. Yeah. Then oh, she, she did hit it with speed. Yeah, and she sent the one ball into the two, so... Uh, no home for the one. Mm. She might have to play a safety here. That she does have, a real thin cut on the right side of the one and send that cue ball behind that wall of balls. Yeah, or is she going to roll up yeah. to the nine? She's going to roll up to the That's nine. That's a good shot. Uh, the four ball is going to get her, maybe. This might spin in. She might just be able to masse this in a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little curve. But anyway, the, the two ball is in the short wheel also, so even if she curves it a little bit and hit the rail first and make the one, then the cue ball is going to go up table, up maybe table. towards the, the 10. The oh, she chose to kick at it like this. She might get away with it. It's, it's tough from here. I can't Same. tell if she can go yeah. rail first or not. <laughs> Awfully tough shot. Yeah, maybe she tried to curve, to curve it. Oh, she hit the rail first. Opportunity well, for Yasmin. Big one. Seven balls tough. Might have the seven nine combo. Yeah. I don't know if she can use the seven uh, ball to make the six in the side pocket. It's stuff from to stuff to say from there. Extension. Yeah, I think she could play the seven nine combination. She'd have to get straight on it. Yeah, I think it's She'd on. She'd have to get straight on it. Let me see the two to reach the four. Well, she's going to be able to get very good position on this four ball. So, as you mentioned earlier, she might be able to play it off the seven if she yeah. chooses. It's really close. It looks like it lays good for it. It's really about decision. I mean, if you... If the combination is on, if it's like not dead, but yeah, she's looking at it. She's looking to, to play the four off the seven. And she'll, it gives her natural position on the five. Yeah. By that's playing it that way. This is really why it's it would be a good choice if it's possible, yeah. Yeah, but then you still have the seven nine combo. Or she could get on the uh, on the top side of the seven yeah. and shoot it down. It's yeah, but not with the position of the six, it's tough to get just right on the yeah. six. Let's see what she decides to do with this. Yeah, actually, she, she didn't take advantage of the the four ball because she, she still has work to do. She didn't let her stroke out there. She had yeah. to get that ball up higher. Trouble. And she knows that. Big pocket. She might choose to bank it. Big pocket with the eight ball there. Yeah, but she doesn't feel She's comfortable. She's down. Exactly. And exactly. She doesn't have that much time also. 
She's she's cutting it. She's cutting it down the table. Nicely done. Yeah, it got on the correct nice. side of the seven. Yeah. Nice. This is good. Okay. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, if she goes, if she finishes this rack, then she will get a little bit more in stroke and confidence. And this is what we wait for. I think she'd like to be about where she's at now with the cue ball. Yeah, she made the effort to, to get closer to the nine, which is a good point. In this case, when you don't feel, when you don't feel good, you want to have clear shots, make it easy, stay down and get confidence. Well, now she's making a big match out of it. We will go for a break and we'll be right back. And we are back with Silviana Lu breaking game number nine. Things are, things are changing. I think it's a dry break and I think it's an open shot for on the one for Yasmin. So now it's another opportunity to tie up the match. When easy, nine, easy one ball to open and then the two to the three are okay. The point would be to go to the three, from the three to the four. She hit it thick a little bit. Took some roll off that cue ball, didn't it? Yeah. And now she has a tough, slightly tough cut on the two ball. And she might also use her uh, extension And it's always better to keep the extension when you really have a trouble into the rack, for example, from the three to the four or the four to the five. But anyways, she has to keep control of the cue ball there to roll it. But yeah, she lost the cue ball here. Will it go by? Nope, it's gonna stay right on top of the 10. Looks like she'll probably go two rails at this. She might be able to to, to, to re-safe here. It's yeah, gonna send it's gonna send the three ball up, but yeah. the cue ball might stay, could stay below those two balls. Actually if you think of the shot, it's really Yeah, you see she she hit it thick and she got away with it and if, even if she uh, had made it, uh, the cue ball would have gone towards the four, and if she had hit it thinner, then she would have created distance in distance from the ball. And so, when you look at closer at the, this type of shot, then you you have good chances to get away with it. So she left Silviana with a combination. I think she called the nine ball into the corner pocket. And you have to hit it perfect to go back and forth with the cue ball for the three. 
And then this is tough. Well, it looks like there might be a window between the five six. From there, it's difficult to say, but even if she sees the tree, she only sees the left part of the tree. And so, she might have to think about jumping this. I don't know, it's, it's tough to say from here, but she only sees the right side, so she, might, she may bank it towards the 10. Yeah, like that, avoiding the kiss. Mm, that's a good shot, but... It's a little too soft. She didn't create enough distance and she wanted more of the three ball to come down towards the 10. Try to find some cover between those three balls. Yeah. She left a tough shot anyway, but. Yeah, that was tough. Well, if that goes by the eight, and it has, it's an open rack, and Jasmine has an opportunity to really close the gap here. Yeah. She's Thanks. starting this run by a long, tough shot on the three. She really has to make it, staying down. Needs five. Henderson. Just like that. That's perfect. This is exactly what you want to start with. Nice angle on the four to go to the five. Yeah, that's a good shot. Everything is available. Yeah, the thing is the eight to the nine, it's not because the balls are close that it's easy because you really have to have the perfect angle on the eight if you don't want to shoot it on the lower left and corner pocket. So you really want oh. a, a perfect angle on the eight. She's going to have the perfect angle on the seven to get that one, what you're talking about, uh, the nice angle on the eight. She'll follow this forward and play the seven in the side. And then come over for the eight. Hmm, I don't know if you can use inside English to go back to the center of the table because she, she has to go back to the center of the table to have the right angle on the eight. And it's a long way to go, especially when you use reverse. Well, there's a lot more control with uh, the high English, and just like this. Yeah. That's like perfect. Yeah. And she has it. But then, then the 9 to the 10 is not a gimme also. Oh, maybe she choose to, to stay on, the, on, on this side of the 9. Yeah. Now she can follow down comfortably. Yeah. And that's a big shot here. We'll see how confident she is here on yeah. this shot, on how she plays it. High ball. Staying down. Yeah, good shot. No, oh, come no, on. this cannot happen. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Ouch. Yeah. I mean, that was a good shot, but... And maybe you a little bit of inside, you know. And you mentioned that that was no gimme. Yeah. Getting from one to the other. Very, very... Crucial error by Jasmine there to lose the cue ball to the corner pocket. And Silviana is on the hill. Yeah, actually Six she games. made a good shot, yeah. She made a good shot on the nine, but then she sh maybe used a little bit of English of inside, which makes the shot tougher. 
but make sure that she doesn't scratch. Yeah, and she hit it confidently, and that's yeah. what I was questioning. So let's see how confident she is. She showed us she was getting confident. Right. And, ouch. This break is very important. It'll be the last time that Silviana will break in this set. Oops, I was thinking when her breaks. Jasmine needs to get this. Well, that was by far the best break of the match. With a big pop, good cue ball control. But, but nothing no down. Yeah. Looks like she has to roll out this one. Yeah, the one ball threatened the pocket on the side, but that was about it. So what can she do? It's always tough situations when you have to roll out and push out. Maybe she will left uh, a cut shot to Yasmin. Well, this is, I think this is an open shot. Uh, she should have pushed a little bit more wow. to leave Kay. the cut, but not the shot. Can she find that window between the six and the 10? Yeah, but actually. That's awfully tight. Yeah, actually, that's a good line, but you have to make the one ball, yes. which is a tough shot. Yeah, she made it. She and made it great, and with a little bit of a roll, she got on the two. So that's a good point. I mean, that's a good reward. She made a great shot there. <coughs> well, she's going to be a little hampered to get to this, so she's going to use the bridge. Yeah, again, two rails the center of the table that's this is perfect she has the right angle make is sure not to to run into the five avoid the five to get to the four good shot there Sometimes it's better to stay far from the ball to have a window. Then try to try to go by the five and end up in the side pocket. Yeah. The side pocket was dangerous there. But now it's it's all about controlling the cue ball, cutting the four, which is not easy. Maybe with a little bit of right English to go two rails into the nine. Softly, see what he choose. No, she didn't put some inside. That's a good one. Ah, uh, this is looking good here. Good shot there. She has the angle to go one rail, high ball, even two rails to catch the catch the rail underneath the side pocket for the right line on the seven. Yeah, she's perfect there. Go to the seven ball from the seven ball to the eight on the side. One rail, make it simple. Perfect. And then again slide to the center of the table to get the right angle to go one rail back from back for the ten.
Mm. A little hampered by the ten. Yeah, she got she got flat on the nine, and it's never easy to stroke this ball and draw back. She has to be aware of the side pocket. Yeah, have to stroke it. Yeah, she did it perfect. Great. <laughs> Good finish there. Ties up the score is six, game to four. The fans cheering her on, trying to get get her to pick up two more games and make this a hill hill decider. That would actually for the some of the roles she's had, for some of the errors that she made in getting there, if she could pull out these next two games, that would be a very, very big match for her. Yeah. Silviana to break in this alternate break format. The good thing is that neither player has been able to take advantage of the break, so the break has yet to produce good results for either player. Absolutely. Yeah. That was a kind of a cut break there. Not too much energy into the rack. No balls. It's difficult to push through and to send energy into the rack without moving your body too much so that you don't lose accuracy on the impact. I don't know if the combination 1-9 is on. From here it's tough to say. David Alcaide, Justin Martin. Just might do this very, very softly. Push the ball, not get, I was gonna say push the ball and then get below the nine, but that works too. Yeah, so now she, she can cut the one and send the cue ball up table Try to freeze it on the short rail and leave it behind the four. Yeah, just like that. Oh, she made the four. Wow. She has the, uh, Jasmine has the option to return, the yeah. put her table, her opponent back into the shot. She's going to play the nine. Playing the combo, one nine combo. Now that's a tough one. Yeah, she can't afford to let her opponent take yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Her opponent's on the hill. She has to keep her in the chair. And she made it clear. And now she has the option, but yeah, she doesn't have that many options to play safe. She's looking at kicking the one ball and stay behind the seven ball with the cue ball. Rolling this with a little bit of right. I like the way she's playing this nice and soft ball. Oh, she had to hit a little thinner yeah. and come back out off the rail behind the seven. Yeah. I don't think she... She has to put some right English on this, only top, you know, because the, the right English made the cue ball come higher when it hits the rail. Good catch. Oh, good shot there. Then if the two ball passes the five, she has to s to stand row it to get position on the three. And then everything would be open because the three is giving the five 
and the five the six so this is this is a key shot here I don't know if it goes it's really I'm tough not to sure see from it does. here. I, I wouldn't blame her for cutting the ball over and trying to get the cue ball behind the 10. Yeah, that I goes. will now because yeah. it goes. <laughs> that was a good shot here. Good shot. Now if the five ball passes the six in the side pocket where the cue ball is, then she would go on the other side of the table playing the five ball in, in the side pocket where the cue ball ends. Uh, are both corner pockets blocked? It looks like they are. The 10 blocks one and the 7 the other. Yeah, just like that. She's okay. If she's straight in on the 5, then she could have the 6 on the same pocket as the 5. Which is a good deal here. Just draw this to the bottom rail and up again? Yeah, it depends on how much angle she has on the six, but it, it's always better to let the stroke out, you know, with a kind of draw. Yeah, I like that. That's a good choice. Three balls yeah. for her first match. And here you always use to you know, want to use low ball with a touch of English to get closer to the ball like this. It's a lot better for the confidence. Makes the shot a lot more easier. And Stay composed. Send the cue ball to the center of the table. and get the job done. A big match from Silviana Lou and takes a win over Jasmine Ocean. Yeah. Jasmine will be on the one loss side and Silviana will move into round two. This has been Ben Belhausen and George Teixeira in the booth, bringing you the live action. Stay tuned and meet us here in Klagenfurt again. Ben, See say you later. goodbye. See you later, guys. Bye. Please proceed to table number two.